This is a star-studded billion-dollar business in Hong Kong. It thrives on a high-stakes examination education system. 入唔到大學，咁可能第一出到嚟就做嘢可能會差啦。At the heart of the business are celebrity tutors who promise to give their students the edge. A lot of people will say that、uh, being a tutor、um, must be like charismatic because、uh, they have to be beautiful or look good looking, but that's not true. In this month, Hong Kong Inquirer, we take a look at Hong Kong's extracurricular tutoring centers and ask: Is it all glitz, or are they helping students succeed? We're at the Prince Edward Center of the Modern Education. As we walk up the stairs, we see an overwhelming wall of posters of this center's star tutors. We are told that this center has dozens of star tutors teaching middle school students. There are more than 180,000 students attending these kinds of tutoring centers after a regular day at school. Most of them are secondary school students. One of those star tutors, Antonia Chan, has been a tutor at this center for more than a decade. Even you have really good English in Hong Kong, you cannot excel in you know exams because it's not just about English standard. You have to be more focused on how to answer the questions because a lot of students don't read the instructions carefully. So Antonia 嘅堂就佢教你啲 skills 啊，即系 reading 方面就可以点样诶快啲捉到条题目想我哋点写，就快啲写出呢个答案咯。Chong regularly goes to the tutoring center specifically to prep for exams. The star tutors don't only teach them how to be more efficient with their time in exams, but also help predict the questions they may face. A lot of students don't pay attention to social issues; they don't pay attention to, you know,、um, things around them. Actually, we we read a lot. We read a lot, like different kind of newspapers and like magazines. And to select, you know, something、um, for them for exams. If you are this kind of student, really think that I am not a brilliant person, I will say the passport phrase. 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 I will say the We we have a whole team like, like it's like a think tank. The tutoring culture has long been a highly lucrative business. A survey by the Hong Kong Federation of Youth Groups shows increasing numbers of students spend more than a thousand Hong Kong dollars every month on tutoring centers. A big success for the center's marketing campaigns. I don't want to comment anything about like、um, I'm for or against marketing because I'm I'm a product, right? So. I, I can't say yes or no, but、um, I have to make extra efforts to prove that I'm not like pretty pretty. I'm more professional than people thought. So it takes more time for me to build that reputation than maybe like other tutors. Just two months ago, Modern Education attempted to recruit a star tutor from its competitor, Beacon College, by publishing a letter in a newspaper advertisement. Star tutor Y Y Lam was offered an astounding 85 million Hong Kong dollars annual salary to switch his allegiances. So, what makes Hong Kong's tutoring industry thrive? The main factor that's driving it is competition, a feeling of competition, which is saying. Uh, I've got to get the extra edge over my peers. In the past, we had two examinations. Now we have only one, but that one is even more important than when you had two. So the pressure on the Hong Kong Diploma of Secondary Education is very fierce. This year, nearly 75,000 students took the HKDSE exam, competing for only 15,000 university places. Those that missed out have to look for an associate degree, which makes finding a good job a lot harder. Even students from some of Hong Kong's most prestigious schools are attending after-class tutoring centers to try and get the edge over their peers. I have one week to prepare two times: prepare English and math. So I prepare four things. 
，但系你而家系中意喎，系咪啊？系，我而家系中意。點解你即係要提前補開始補，即係已經補咗中三嗰啲，而家喺度補緊中四嗰啲數學、呃？因為阿媽逼我呀。All this extra tutoring takes its toll. More than 90% of secondary school students in the city sleep for less than eight hours a day, well below the international recommendation of nine hours. It also cuts into their play and social time. They are also growing increasingly unhappy. In a survey that interviewed nearly 4,000 primary and secondary school students this September, 25% of the students rated themselves having a stress level of seven in a scale of ten. Most of them were stressful about exams, too much homework, or the difficult syllabus. So, is it worth it for the future of the children? A study by the University of Hong Kong showed that high score in English exams doesn't translate to good language skills. Only six percent of the Hong Kong people can speak English well. Although Hong Kong ranks sixth out of 141 economies for graduates in science and engineering, the special administrative region drops to 31st in knowledge and technology outputs. Headhunters agencies also claim that Hong Kong's graduates are not confident to be able to operate in real-world environments, even though they're good at maths. It does come back to yes,、uh, we would like to see young people who are more than examination robot machines to、uh, pass examinations. That we do want to have additional skills and attitudes and. Personality development. Whether they have critical thinking or not, you cannot blame、um, the teachers or blame、um, tutorial teachers. It's the system. Like they have to do like you know TSA. You have to do like SBA. Like you have a lot of different assignments. They cannot you know they can avoid. So it's not the problem that. Students don't want to have critical thinking or the practice to have critical thinking, but it's just the reality doesn't allow them. For now, there is no changes in sight. As long as the exam system stays as it is and the number of university places remains far lower than the number of students competing for them, the tutoring schools will continue to thrive. For Hong Kong Inquirer, I'm Andrea Den.